Okay, I just got the uh, double fold uh, binder for the baby lock cover stitch machine. I was um, lucky enough to be able to take one home to try. I, I teach a sewing class at my local machine shop, so I want to thank Boulder Sovac for being so kind and letting me play with all these fun accessories. So, um, straight out of the box, I'm going to try to go ahead and do binding on a sample piece of fabric using this double fold binder. This is a 10 millimeter size which means that the finish with the binding is going to be 10 millimeters which translates to about 3 eighths of an inch and I did a quick um, sample here with I had uh, one needle in so I these were these are fabrics I obviously wouldn't put together but I already had the red thread in my machine so this is what 3 eighths of an inch looks like So, I'm going to sort of maybe talk a little bit about this. I don't know much. This is what I've learned in the short time I've had it, which is about an hour. <laughs> so this is what the binder attachment looks like. So what it does is you take a single piece of fabric, a strip of fabric, it'll tunnel through here and it actually folds it over twice and then you can sandwich the piece of fabric into it. So there's a couple things here that can be adjusted, but to be honest, I am just gonna sort of leave them how they are. So there is a tab here. Whoops, there's a tab here. And then a tab on the bottom. And you can actually slide these in and out. And what I've discovered is that Let's see, um, this tab, that's sort of the edge of the fold on the binding. Same with the bottom tab, which I know it's really hard to sort of see what I'm talking about. But those are sort of, that's the, how the edge of the fold fabric sort of hits those guides. And so this is what I use to align the binder onto my machine because I know that's going to be the edge of the binding as it gets attached, which is going to be basically this right here, this edge. So I have two needles in, so it's going to make two rows of stitches on the top of my binding. And here's the beauty about the baby lock accessories. I don't need any special adapter plate for this piece. I don't need a special foot. I don't need a foot that's shorter. I'm sure it would be nice, but I, I've been using it and haven't found it to be a problem. Your baby lock will also come with these two screws, which we're going to use to attach it to the base here. So, first you want to, so this is how it goes on. This plate goes to the left. The, um, I don't know what you would call this part, but this is what the fabric serpentines through. You would put this on the right. The front two, two uh, screw holes are what I'm going to use to attach it with. And right now, I, I'm not going to worry about adjusting it. I just want to get these screws in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. So screw them, screw them in, but don't really tighten them all the way because you want to be able to have this move in and out. So again, there's a tab here and a tab there. Maybe, well, as it folds it, this sort of indicates where this fold line is going to be. So if I know where that fold line is going to be, I can adjust this so that it's to the left of my leftmost needle. I'm using my middle needle and my right needle. And I want this needle to be just to the right of the edge of the binding. 
There's no real science here, except for eyeballing it. So I'm going to move this over until I'm satisfied with where this is falling in relation to my left needle. Now the other thing is that I'm going to want to run a practice piece of fabric through here before I actually sew my project. But again, this is just fine tuning and I'm going to run some practice pieces through it. So I'm going to kind of hold it down really tight. I'm going to tighten the right screw first and then the left screw. Okay. So really quick, again this is the 10 millimeter wide size. There's an 8 millimeter and then I think the other size is 12 millimeters. So 10 millimeters is 3 eighths of an inch and the instructions that come with the binder say that for a 10 millimeter strip, uh, sorry, for a 10 millimeter finish width, you're going to want to cut your strip 36 millimeters wide, which is 1 and 3 eighths inches. So here's my binding strip. This is a 95% cotton, 5% spandex content fabric. And what the instructions say to do, again, this is 1 and 3 eighths inch wide. Cut, this happens to be two feet long because I'm just practicing. And then they want you to cut the, ang uh, the edge at an angle because it's going to make it a little easier for you to feed it into the, the binder attachment. So this is where a pair of tweezers comes in handy. All right. So you're going to feed it with the wrong side of the fabric facing you. And you're going to come into this serpentine contraption here. Okay, so you're going to start by feeding it through here and then going back once and twice so that it sort of flosses through like that. And then you're going to take this edge and you're going to just put it in the binder. Okay, so again, you can take this edge, put it through here. And you're going to see it, and you just need to guide it the best you can. Guide it into this tunnel here. Okay, so this is where it gets fun. Alright. So it comes out. You're going to grab your end. Lift your presser foot. And then you're going to guide it in between this tab and the tab below that I was showing you earlier. Give it a little tug. You want to want to make sure your fabric is nice and flat as it feeds through. So let me just adjust that. Okay. So it should start to fold. And you're going to turn it 90 degrees and get it under your presser foot. Give it a tug so that you have a little bit, well quite a bit actually, behind your foot and that you've created and you can kind of see it has folded here and is also folded under your presser foot and you can kind of see where the top edge of the the binding is in relation to your needle and that's you would control the position by moving this to the left or to the right um, I can kind of see right now I kind of like where it's at if anything, I would probably move it a hair over to the left. Okay, so go ahead and put your presser foot down. This is the fun part. So you're going to take your main or your body fabric, the, the piece that you want to bind, and you're going to tuck him in between the folds. Make sure he's pushed all the way over to the right. Get them nice and tucked up in there. And then just start sewing. I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and finish this strip out. Well, And this is what you get. So that's the front, and obviously you can adjust how far the needle is from the edge of your binding. And then this is what it looks like on the back side. And it's double fold, so you're going to get a fold of fabric on both the front and the back. There's single fold uh, binder attachments where it would just be a single layer of fabric on the side which would create less bulk um, but the double fold is what just comes standard from baby lock itself 